What's up guys? This is the Brofum and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Napoleon Total War. Let's play as Great Britain. So to run off where we left off, Henry, Cl Henry Clinton has surged eastwards to hit the city of Kiev, continuing our advance on the southern Russian front while we wait for the classic Russian winter to die down. So without further ado, let us attack. Once we've got all this attrition up to the north, there's not. I'm not that bothered about trying to attack. I'm more than happy to hold. So I've got so many armies up in the north that I've got quite good defence in depth. So it's not just the frontier settlements, settlements that are garrisoned with strong armies. The next few settlements back are also garrisoned. So any flanking attacks and things like that the AI decides to try and do won't actually be that successful. So I want to get... Okay, well, stop rambling on about strategy. Let's go on to the battle here. So I want to get up onto this hill. I want to be up on this hill. And then... Probably... Another setup on top of that hill would be quite... Quite handy. Be careful with the infantry, though. Because we are starting to then be a bit... Spread out. So I can put three units there. much more spread out than I normally am. Potentially too spread out. Yeah, that's not very many troops to cover the centre. Two units of line, a couple of regiments of foot. Hmm. Nope, I think that's too... too ambitious. So let's set up a great, dirty great big battery right here. That way we can do something more like this. So five units covering the left. Ooh, it's a bit dodgy. Let's steal one of you. So you've got five units on the left, five units on... Four units on the left, four units on the right. I mean, yeah, you're in a bit of a dodgy spot. But you'll be moved soon. Let's put a unit of light foot on each flank. So the generals on the f on the left flank, their sole cavalry units on the right, lifeguard Cossacks. So let's put the Scots Greys and our light dragoons on the right. Let's put a horse guards unit on the left. Let's probably advance up the howitzers. Here, I suppose. General in the centre. Crack on. Because they'll get an excellent field of fire. And they'll also be, be able to provide some fire support to our line. You probably need to be a bit more like this. Which in of itself is a bit dodgy, considering their line still extends out a bit. Well, actually, they're all rushing back towards the centre. Let's push up our dragoons to see if we can tempt them into suiciding their general and then our general Henry Clinton himself will stand just in front of the woods to witness the battle unfold there he is he's got a bit of a bit of five o'clock shadow going on so their guns are in the town which is <laughs> Well, they're moving out of the town, which is a good decision, because otherwise putting them in the town is a really bad idea. Oh, I'm going to move up this light foot. So they've redeployed their cavalry on opposite flanks, and by the looks of it, Scots, Grey, Scots Greys and Dragoons. I hear a charge. Try charge them. 
It wasn't about getting the charge off, it was sometimes the AI reacts differently when you've set units to actually attack them. It's got life. So they've switched flanks, but all our, our army is marching over the hill, which were you a peasant in... Well, not a peasant, it's quite a nice farmhouse, I'd say. Barrels for storage alcohol as we creep over the hillock. There might be a bit of a howitzer range issue. It's got militia, armed citizenry, lots of just regular musketeers. I mean, do you want a chance here, Lancers? Let's run our light infantry up to provide a bit of bait. Also, they are abandoning the right flank almost entirely. Now, this lump is causing a bit of a deployment problem for our guns. But I expect they're going to come to the all too familiar conclusion that once we have our guns set up, they have to come after us. Order. So let's speed up time a little bit just to get the guns in position. They just got one unit of militia out on that flank trying to tempt us. These guys have had enough, they're marching on. See, the cavalry on the other flank is on the move. I mean, they do fancy it. So my intent was to get a volley off with... A volley off in the light infantry. Then I'll counter charge... With my dragoons. Because they should be able to get in before they cover the distance. And the cannons are actually engaging them too. But no, all of you. So they manually to target someone else so they don't kill each other. So the light infantry will get the volley off. Oh, they are routing. They're about to be engaged by my light infantry. We'll still get some decent kills. Let's turn off fire at will. Oh, look at this poor chap. Sorry, fella. Let's bring our cavalry back. I mean... <laughs> they can't shoot, they can't fire, they can't do anything. Oh, they're coming back. Hope these chaps have reloaded. Yeah, like I was... I'll just let them shoot, to be honest. Okay, now as they're being... As they're being defensive... Let's push up our line and be offensive. Because it also provides a good opportunity for us to capture the town. I hear more cavalry's coming back. Fire it well off for you. Like, I don't know what their game is. Attack them, turn fire well off. Let's continue to march you guys up. 
Let's get the mortars up into the town. So they are successfully managing to engage us. Their infantry's moved out of range. Bit of a bummer. So let's take you and unnimber them and move them up onto this flank. Push out my dragoons. Oh, they're going after my mortars, the scoundrels. Howitzers, sorry. So I got one of my guns. I'm not sure why it's not rendered in, or if it has, it's disappeared. Eh, even this might be good enough, to be honest. Do the same. These guys are just going to be useless. Okay, let's reorientate our defences a bit to take into account this push on the right. <laughs> They've responded to it in kind with their own deployment. Well, in which case then... No, they're coming back. But we are going to advance. I'm keeping an eye on my howitzers because I want to know when they're in position to start bombarding the enemy line. And they're shooting their own buildings. To be honest though, it looks like if they are on the march they're going to come back into range. Still, let's, do, let's let the howitzers do... Okay, let's move one of you up onto the peak, the edge of this ridge there. To be honest, that too is not going to be that useful now. For me, because I've already... I'm going to be too mobile in order to use it successfully. So really, I don't want to necessarily go through the town. I'm more than happy to have a unit here as a blocker, just to stop them from being able to go through it easily. Then whichever flank isn't the one that they advance on needs to get ready to move. See, I want them in position, really. Coldstream Grenadiers. But let's let my howitzers do some good work. Henry up on this flank. Tight back here, not much room for manoeuvre. Fire. Come on, get into position, you fellows. You may as well shift over here to provide some fire support. Guard. 
So this has been a bit of a slow burn. Lots of maneuvering and Okay, looks like they are going to start to. F okay, you, 83rd needs to run. Oh, I just need to focus fire supporting these troops. Let's get these Dragoons in, if they're not going to play ball. Good. That's one routing unit of Musketeers. So that's one set of... one side of the jaws, for the want of a better word. Push the infantry up. Not great. I'm, so I'm really penning them into the back of the map. Okay, now they're falling back. So push up and secure this ridge as a superior firing position. As we force you guys to turn and do something against us. I mean, they're just, they're just bouncing around and not being able to decide where they want to go. Let's get up in their face, continue the pressure. It won't be long so I just de deploy the, deploy the cavalry. Okay, good. It's all about to kick off now. Make sure they got fire will turned on. don't like how the 80th, 85th is unhappy with what's going on. They do have very limited artillery support. Turn fireball off with them for my light infantry just a little bit to get my dragoons through. Engage the Cossacks. Get my dragoons in. Get this unit off the wall. Push in. Yeah, to be honest, just have at him. Let's turn fireball off for both of those units, just so that my general gets back into. A safe position, but in general, I'll have at the have at the artillery. Let's get the general in a good position, ready to take advantage of the the cluster. Fire will back on. Forming square, they are. I need to get these guys out of the cauldron. Oh, 
Oh, no, you don't. Not when they're all about to crack like this, you don't. Oh, an Aaron Mortar. Too bad they're all going to escape. But some of my troops are going to, get, going to get a few decent kills at least. Could have charged my line from tree in, but it's not going to make that much of a difference. Let's pull the cavalry out to go hit this unit of musketeers. Yeah, that's an absolute shooting gallery. Well, there we go. At least for a slow burn, they fell like a like a house of cards. Decent win. You see, it was unfortunate they decided to pen themselves back in at the back of the town, but only lost four hundred men. So I don't think that was pretty successful. And Kiev is ours. So let's get building. Are you a general? No, you are though. Wait. Lowenstern. So the Simpsons with Lowenstein. Try to take him out. Oh, better than, better than even's chance. Bang. Got him. Gotcha. Let's send Marcus Morgan actually go half, to go after Mikhail Barclay de Dolly. Because he might cause a bit of problems. Ah, they didn't get him. Yeah, this army that's currently being attrited trying to get back to Kamenets. So if they do take Kamenets, that's okay. Because Mr. Abercrombie will have a thing or two to say about that. Flynn Bellamy, just to send him up to here. I mean, that's... Yeah, that's just a... Just demand their surrender. Let's... I mean, so it's technically, that's a victory of the campaign. Hooray. Not heads, not head. But this isn't going to be my, this isn't what I call the end of the campaign. The end of the campaign involves me taking these last four towns, sailing Wellesley back to Corsica, and engaging Bonaparte. Even though we can see it's him, we know that's his name, but we can't see him here. This is what I want the final battle to be. I'm happy to let them retreat, because hopefully then this unit of militia might go retreat to somewhere else to form a decent army. Okay, I think that's generally everything. Let's get James English Hamilton onto the ship's... Oh no, don't attack the Protectorate. Brerisford is going to move up. I want him in support for the attack on Moscow. Just because... Uh... Come on, click him, click him. I'm pretty sure this was John Moore's army, I think. With his Highland foot, so I want them to do something important. Good old John Moore. Belgorodzar's trait gained assassin. That was our guy that blew the general away. It's late February. Still haven't researched the whole tree. Although, <laughs> we're pretty on it. <laughs> Let's end turn. Oh yes, those forces near Vilnius that we repulsed not that long ago. And the armies that were that took Switzerland and Stuttgart are driving east. Good stuff. Oh. Russians are consolidating their forces. Good. The more consolidated they are, the easier it will be to grind them into the dirt on the battlefield. You can try your swarming tactics with me, sir. It will not wash. Let's 
It's only reinforcing the front heavily. So they're regrouping. So that, well, that might give though that, that replenishing army some time to get in. <laughs> Desperately heading over to my universities to steal my technologies. They're devils. Not that it's going to help them. Yep. So their forces have retreated. More consolidation near Vilnius, and I don't know if that was a new general. See, at the very least, with the constrained nature of recruiting generals in, in this compared to Empire, you do kind of bond with your generals a bit more, rather than being able to recruit them on the fly. Although I'm slightly... Uh, it's slightly easier for me to empathise with these chaps more, because more often than not, it's these generals that I actually uh, recognise names from and remember from history books. Whereas lots of the ones in Empire, I don't remember. Is Portugal going to do anything useful? I suspect not. There is Successful target. Building farms here will help the ah, that was this army. So, sure, there we go. Build a drill school. You're replenishing your... Driving up to here. But as you can see, it's lovely and temperate now. So, now is the time to begin our offensives again. Let's bring Wellesley over to the bridge. See if we can entice these guys into a bridge battle. That was a cool looking unit. Dragoons. Frederick Adam, you marching on this fort, these forces from the south, cutting them off, so they'll have nowhere to retreat. Forces at Minsk can stay where they are. Kamnitz garrison has been strengthened. I mean, I'm marching cavalry up here, but I'm not too bothered about what it's going to do. Let's get Nelson over to here to drop off the fleet. We'll drop off the army. And then let's make Nelson put into. God, I because I've been capturing these regions, but I have not secured any ports in the Black Sea. Um, so it's gonna be back to split in what would that be? Yeah, it's Croatia. Winter attrition. I know. So we've got the fort in Bucharest. Get these guys marching up to Kamenets, although they're not going to make it there in too much time. We're not going to make it up there with much time to spare. Roland Hill. Ah, oh, this is Daddy Hill. Sorry, George Murray. Roland Hill was in sharp. He was at the Battle of Talavera. So you're going to be, they're going to be leading the front. Leading the fight with the 95th Rifles and the 15th Hussars. They're going up to St. Petersburg. Whereas you, good sir, will probably march to here to act as a blocking force. So they should be able to cross this bridge. We didn't set them in Vilnius, so there's no danger of them going out there and hitting Kohl into the Riga. But these guys will serve as a good blocking force to stop any raid forces pushing in through this front. Spy network. Well, I mean, we've got spies in every every city now, apart from Smolensk. Go on, let's have another pop at this general. Bang! A spy network established in Rome. Although that, that's that's going to not do anything except serve to annoy them if they find him. So how it heard Marcus Morgan. Let's get you back here. I'm going to ship you over to the to the French, the last French holdout. Because it seems fitting the last battle is against Napoleon rather than knocking him out right at the start. That would have been somewhat. Oh, I could just use Jeremy Beardsley. Let's get a couple of you over here, actually. Especially as you're not all really needed over here anymore. Okay. So I want Mr. Abercrombie to drive these forces eastwards. Ready 
you're all replenishing. Everyone's doing replenishing. Everyone's doing good stuff. Everyone is on the march. Is there anything I can really do that might? Eh. Oh, my hand turn. See what happens. Well, at least then next turn I can set up the set up the parts to be ready for a final attack. Oh. I'll we'll see set up for a final attack. I like to end my parts. Usually where something's happening, they're attacking me, I'm attacking them. So at least up here I can threaten the the what what should be at these times the Russian capital. Rather than Moscow. I think, if my history's correct. I'm pretty sure the Tsarist Tsarist era it was St. Petersburg, but you know that could all have could all be wrong. Oh they've put me under siege. In Vilnius, brave souls, considering there are two full stacks in support, marching towards them. But they have nowhere to escape. Ooh! Oh god. So the Swedes... So the, we finally opened up a front against the Swedes. If they're going to be a problem, I might have to send my army that's currently in Norway over to hit Stockholm, just to teach them a lesson. I have to say, none of my protectorates have... Well, I might send some of these chaps that are currently in Central Europe, north, to fight a brief and bloody conflict against the Swedes. Yeah, the Portuguese have had enough, they're going home. Civilius is besieged. Up to the hill here. So, we do have an army. John Stewart. I mean, intercept that university, stop them from building it. If they are determined to play games with us, let's bring these forces up to the coast. to invade Scandinavia. Let's recruit, not merchantmen, not carronade frigates. I mean, I'm, well, yeah, let's do merchants. So we're going to drop these guys off. So they've got a blocking army here to stop us from hitting Stockholm directly. And they've got two stacks on the way around here, probably because we've shown ourselves. So if I take Juno, Ooh, actually, that might be a splendid idea. Do not have a general over admiral over here. Well, damn. Come on, adventure. Let's get an admiral. John Thomas Duckworth. God damn, we've got to have Mr. Duck. Actually, he's technically the worst, and this guy's the best. Sorry, again, Tom Foley. Although I can't. There we go. Damn, he is a good admiral. I mean, so I don't know what ship they've got here. It's a 74 gun ship of the line, so I don't want to let the Swedish army get out. The Swedish navy, sorry, get out. Oh, yeah, that'd be plenty. So let's take these two 50 gun ships and a fifth gun ship. Meet, uh, join them up with these third rates. If I sell these chaps over here to blockade the steam dry dock, then the Swedes can't even cross because we control the strait. <laughs> See you, my friends. Hey, I recognize you. Although it looks like there's lots of militia. Loads of militia. These will be enough to blockade the port. So we've got our tech advances. So let's put... So let's knock down the University of Magdeburg. and Let's get Schleswig on iron plating. Although we can't stop them from doing it.
You never recruited a unit of foot. Okay, firstly, let's put Mr. Abercrombie there first. Get Roland to lay siege to St. Petersburg, which is that's a pitiful garrison. Let's maintain the siege for now. Let's get Mr. Abercrombie to engage Dmitry Petrovich Rezivri. And I know I've completely butchered that imp that that pronunciation. I don't not doesn't really bother me. Mr. Clinton can push up ready to try and fight these armies and get up there to start threatening Smolensk. Actually no, don't don't hit them directly, but just move up. Start to threaten Moscow, start to cut off their bottlenecks, so say take John Oswald, sit him here. This army, I'll sit on the bridge back here so they can't flank around this direction. They can only go west. Which takes in Petersburg and Novgorod, sit an army here on the bridge. Then it's just a simple matter of cutting them off completely. Good stuff. Well, I would normally auto resolve this, but it's St. Petersburg. It feels right to attack St. Petersburg. But looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So. Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the assault on St. Petersburg. Shouldn't be a long one. Cheers everyone.